We realize that both in the kids and in the adult uh, space there was a lot of demand of uh, libation contents and we believe that uh, Rainbow as a content company we had to expand our portfolio and so we started with uh, of course the twins and teens and so we produced uh, Maggie Bianca and now Club 57 with uh, Nickelodeon but at the same time we acquire uh, one of the most uh, established and prestigious Italian live action company uh, which is Colorado Film and uh, w with them we could have uh, a kind of know-how and uh, network of talents attached uh, which could help us uh, in growing our, our content uh, into the adult space as well. For live action you can see the results of uh, your, your story, your ideas uh, or something that you acquire from a book uh, within uh, I would say maximum two years from the first initial concept development. With animation is really rather longer but this is not the only reason. The real reason is that like I say uh, we want to grow Rainbow as a media content company not only kids uh, and animation and uh, like I say this is the right moment to do it because there are uh, many players who allowed you to to, to produce and, and uh, broadcast your content from the traditional broadcaster as you know Netflix, Amazon, uh, Hulu and Apple all these other guys are putting uh, good budget behind production and most of the time is live action. There's some little budget for animation as well but it's still uh, much smaller compared to, to what is dedicated to the adult. And so we, we did it uh, even uh, because we want to be a global player in the content. Like I say, it's not only a matter of timing to, to get the final. And for me personally, it is also a little bit uh, of uh, professional uh, complete, complete, uh, to complete my experience because from being uh, 25 years uh, in the kids and family you know to, to have a challenge uh, in something different which has to do with storytelling as well but uh, where you can uh, um, have less limitation in the language and in the use of uh, you know your, your message where you want to go and at the same time a limitation which you can't go wild like in a fantasy world or in a drawing no that everything is possible unless you spend a lot of money in visual effects so i believe that is it is very um, exciting for me to to try to to put my ideas behind uh, something which is close, which is always about emotion to get something that touch your heart or inspire you, uh, but using uh, different uh, elements, different media and the real actors, which is another thing. You know, real actors has uh, a lot of complexity compared to cartoons that they never get sick, they never complain, they never ask for more money. But at the same time, they do bring uh, uh, real uh, life and real emotion to what you're doing if they are real talents. It has been a really nice experience. Uh, the cast, uh, even if it's mixed between uh, American, Latin American and Italians, they have been uh, uh, very uh, good as a team. They create a real friendship. I, I would say I visited the set many times, both in Italy and in Miami, and uh, they are real friends. They have a chemistry, they are, they are really good together. So that was experiment number one accomplished. And for the rest, it was also uh, again, uh, uh, very complimentary, the know-how of Rainbow and the know-how of Nickelodeon, uh, the sensitivity of uh, the Americans uh, compared to us that we could bring a bit of European touch. I 
I think that with 44 cats, again, uh, which was something that we never done before, we never deal with uh, preschooler or bridge show, put it that way. We are more on the older kids. Uh, it was another something that was very stimulating, trying to create a show uh, which could, first of all, be more neutral gender. And with the 44 cats, indeed, from the first rating, which are amazing on the countries where we have been out, they even show that we are really 50-50 or 48-52, anyway, really very close between boys and girls. And uh, also to have, to try to bring values which are international, meaning messages uh, of friendship, uh, of, uh, you know, um, defending from the bully, or this kind of thematic, uh, even in a comedy way, but which are very, very international and uh, last but not least there are all these songs uh, which are very uh, interesting because they are not the classic uh, super easy listening and super simple to sing song for kids they are a little bit more complicated because a little bit faster maybe but with the rhyme with the funny meaning so the more the kids listen to them the more they want to learn to sing and they and they like it which is very important because you need to be successful in the first uh, run, but you need to be even more in the reruns where the thematic channels, they do a lot of reruns. So what uh, we believe is working well in 44 Cats is the combination of comedy values, good quality of the animation of the show itself, good stories and the songs, which are the first time you like it, for something but maybe you don't love it the second time you start to like it more and the third time you really like it and it get into you and uh, you want to learn and so that's how the rerun might work well as well we always try to with wings club to reinvent uh, the story every time that we we write a new season never try to repeat the same over and over and over adding a lot of elements strong elements uh, discovering secrets which were kept uh, for the audience to be discovered so i believe that uh, that uh, this was the reason uh, beside the good music and all that kept it uh, very very entertaining for the kids uh, for all of, for for these 15 years the other point which i think is important and can be a bit disappointing for the fan of 15 years ago is that while the first three four season of wings were written and target in a way the 8 to 12 years old when it come to the last couple of seasons and especially season eight where we even restyled them visually but even for the story uh, we are following a little bit the audience, which in the, in the last 10 years, uh, the animation audience has skewed younger. Uh, nowadays, it's very difficult that the 10 years old uh, watch cartoons. They all, all go for the live action, the Claire 57, the Maggie Bianca, or the Disney shows, you know. And so, when your target is more a 4 to 8, uh, you definitely need to take care of this important element and your stories has to have a level of complexity which cannot be the same like the beginning of Wings where we really had a lot of layers of different uh, stories that come together at a certain point, uh, love stories, uh, school stories, the big adventure, the big threat. Now everything is a little bit tuned down but still, uh, I believe for the kind of audience that we have today, we have uh, a lot of original elements and uh, visual beautiful things and nice songs to be still uh, hopefully a successful show. Much older, that's why for the fan of the previous Wings, which if you read on the social you find oh, the new seasons of Wings are so much more childish, uh, you know, they lost, which they don't know and they don't understand that we had to, you know, because if we are now Rayo Yo in Italy, which is a good channel, but the target is up to eight years old, you can't really 
do the kind of stories which you did in the in on Rai 2 15 years ago. So I think that for the for those kind of fun which are 20 years old they still like to watch Wings uh, cartoon, they will hopefully find uh, their uh, spot sweet spot side on the Netflix uh, original Wings version, which is definitely maybe even more edgy and and uh, dark than what they can imagine for being used to very colorful world of wings but they have been uh, with us uh, also very careful to do the right adaptation to the target which clearly is a young adult so being young adult all the things that we have to tune down in the animation has been emphasized in the live action all the relationship all the fights all the love stories all the so i hope like i say that uh, the netflix series will go and uh, make happy all the loyal wings fan uh, millions of fans around the world which are now grown up into young adults